Well, weather may be affecting your beach day more than you think. Researchers on the East Coast are looking into how it could help predict shark attacks. But as our tennis reporter Mackenzie Maynard shows us, local experts say that our coast is a very different story. Dr. Greg Skelmel and meteorologist Joe Merchant are working together as they test a new theory. Wind and the weather have an effect on where shark location is. Merchant believes a weather condition called a sea breeze may set off a predatory chain reaction, bringing nutrient rich deep water closer to the surface, attracting tiny marine life, which attract larger fish, which in turn attract the ocean's largest predators, sharks. Could be weather conditions, it could be water temperature. So we're testing all these various factors to see if there's any patterns, including Joe's ideas that drive the behavior of these sharks. So far, their research has taken them to the Bahamas and Cape Cod, both locations on the East Coast, where there have been several recent attacks. Closer to home, we've seen our fair share of scares, including 14-year-old Keen Webray Hayes, who survived an attack up in Sanitas. But a local expert in San Diego says a lot of factors make our coastal climate much different. On the East Coast, you have the warm Gulf Stream that moves north in a really broad continental shelf. And on our coast, we have a cold current coming from the north and a very narrow continental shelf. Fisheries research biologist Heidi Dewar tells me sharks off the west coast primarily feed off sea lions, the main habitats for our area located on islands farther away from the shore. It's not clear that that would translate to the west coast. We have a very different ecosystem over there, over here. While she says pinpointing the location of sharks will certainly require a lot more data and research, one thing is for sure, the number of sharks Sharks in the water is going up. Shark populations in the North Pacific are increasing, and so there people will see more sharks in the water. In La Jolla, Mackenzie Maynard, 10 News. Scientists also add things to keep in mind to prevent coming in contact with a shark. Avoid swimming at dawn or dusk, popular times for surfers, but that is typically when sharks are feeding.